Hello and good day. Welcome to today's Living Word. I'm Dwayne Matz. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, looking at this heavenly vision of Isaiah. And this is, this ain't Clarence Oddbody, part 2. Okay, let's pick it up at Isaiah 6, verse 2. Above it, the throne, stood seraphim. Each one had six wings, and with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. That's Isaiah 6, 2 and 3. Seraphim, fiery, holy and zealous, unfallen angels. But what's this? Six wings? I thought angels only had two of those things. Well, again, this is a vision, and what Isaiah sees with his eyes is a message in itself. It doesn't tell us what angels actually look like, but rather more about their station in creation and what they do. And six-winged creatures show up in one other area of Scripture, found in Revelation chapter 4, verse 8, which reads, The four living creatures each having six wings, were full of eyes around and within, and they do not rest day or night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. So let's note the similarities here. Six wings and the same unending song, Holy, holy, holy. Now these wings are an indication of the swiftness in which angels carry out the will of God's providence. The plethora of eyes, an indication of loyal agents of God, angels, always looking to the throne and seeking the dispatch of God to carry out his good and perfect and gracious will. And as they carry it out, because they've got all these eyes, no detail escapes them. No mistakes are made. Mission is always accomplished. Now, no two, there may be delays, as evidenced in the book of Daniel when an angel sent by God was delayed due to some opposition from the enemy. Daniel 10, beginning at verse 12, Then he said to me, the angel, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words and answered prayer. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia, Satan, big enemy here, withstood me 21 days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. For I had been left alone there with the kings of, with the kings of Persia. Now I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the latter days, for the vision refers to many days yet to come. Well, look, what a comforting piece of scripture here. God heard the humble plea of Daniel, and he responded. There was a delay due to the opposition from Satan, but God took care of it. And once again, his providence and good and gracious will prevailed. It always will. So take heart from this passage. You who have been wondering, where is God in my situation? Well, he knows the humble, and he hears their cry. But God's will is much more complicated than our own situations. And that's why these angels have all these eyes. They see every possible angle as they carry out the good and perfect will of God. And these angels, by the way, aren't just for the Daniels of this world either. They are for all who have put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Hebrews 1.13 says, but to which of the angels has he ever said, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation? Sent forth to minister to believers. So know this and believe this and then wait and trust in the Lord. It will all ultimately work out for his good. For just as one seraphim said, the whole earth, the whole earth is full of his glory. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.